Dear students, today we are going to learn an essay, Pillars of Democracy, written by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. He was an economist, politician and social reformer. He was one of the architects of the Indian constitution. He was awarded the Bharat Ratna posthumously in 1990. Children, we are fortunate. We live in democracy. Democracy is government of the people by the people and for the people. This is the definition of democracy by Abraham Lincoln. It's our responsibility to nurture and protect our democracy. In this essay, the writer has laid emphasis on the values of liberty, equality and fraternity. According to him, these values will make India a strong and powerful nation. He opines that hero worship or bhakti in politics is very dangerous. It is a sure road to degradation of democracy. It may result in dictatorship and the collapse of nation. The thoughts of Dr. Ambedkar are relevant in the 21st century also. In this short lecture, you will learn new words from the text, explanation of the entire lesson in English and summary of the lesson. Let's get started. New words from the lesson. Write down these new words in your notebook. See the words? Liberty means freedom. Equality means the state of being equal in status and rights of opportunity. Fraternity means a sense of common brotherhood. Hero worship means excessive admiration for somebody. Constitutional means allowed by the constitution of a country. Grammar of anarchy means a state of disorder due to the absence of controlling system. Subvert means to ruin or to corrupt. Rendered means contributed. Gratefulness means thankfulness. Chastity means purity or modesty. Salvation means the process of being saved. Degradation means cause something to become worse in quality. Contradiction means to be contrary to. Peril means danger or risk. One people means one nation. Triennial means the hundred sorry the three hundredth anniversary. Liturgy means rites prescribed for public worship. On the spur of the moment means suddenly. Laity means members of a religious community. Solidarity means togetherness. Resented means disliked. Cherishing means nurturing. Delusion means a mistaken idea or opinion. Anti-national means opposition to nation. Antipathy means feeling of dislike or hatred. Coats of paint means to cover something with a coating. Let's begin the lesson Pillars of Democracy written by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. Open your textbook, page number 36. Pillars of Democracy. If we wish to maintain democracy not merely in form but also in fact, what must we do? The first thing, in my judgment, we must do is to hold fast to constitutional methods of achieving our social and economic objectives. As you know, this is an essay written by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. This essay was written before 26th 
January 1950. At that time, the Indian Constitution was not implemented. The writer asks a question to the readers: What must we do to maintain democracy? According to Dr. Ambedkar, we must follow constitutional methods to achieve our social and economic goals. When there was no way left for constitutional methods for achieving economic and social objectives, there was a great deal of justification for unconstitutional methods. But where constitutional methods are open, there can be no justification for these unconstitutional methods. These methods are nothing but the grammar of anarchy. and the sooner they are abandoned the better for us there were unconstitutional methods in the past but now constitutional methods are open so nobody can justify the unconstitutional methods in india these methods are the grammar of anarchy they will disturb the entire nation we have to give up such unconstitutional methods as early as possible this is the writer's opinion the second thing we must do is to observe the question which john stuart mill has given to all who are interested in the maintenance of democracy namely not to lay their liberties at the feet of even a great man or to trust him with powers which enable him to subvert their institutions here the writer gives the reference of the warning by the philosopher j s mill liberty and institutions are very important in a democratic country we should never put our liberties at the feet of a great man he may subvert the national institutions this is the warning given by j s mill the writer gives reference of this there is nothing wrong in being grateful to great men who have rendered lifelong services to the country but there are limits to gratefulness as he has been well said by the irish patriot daniel o'connell no man can be grateful at the cost of his honor no woman can be grateful at the cost of her chastity and no nation can be grateful at the cost of its liberty according to the writer there is nothing wrong in being thankful to great leader who contributed their services to the nation but there should be limitations to our thankfulness here the writer quotes the statement by the irish patriot daniel o'connell according to daniel o'connell a man's honor a woman's chastity and a nation's liberty is valuable so liberty of nation is very important this question is far more necessary in the case of india than in the case of any other country for in india bhakti or what may be called the path of devotion or hero worship plays a part in its political unequal in magnitude by the part it plays in the politics of any other country in the world here the writer tells us a nation can't be grateful at the cost of its liberty this warning is necessary to all indians bhakti or bhakti in politics or hero worship plays an important role in our political life the writer warns us not to be blind followers of any great person that is very dangerous to the nation 
bhakti in religion may be a road to the salvation of the soul but in politics bhakti or hero worship is a sure road to degradation and to eventual dictatorship according to the writer bhakti in religion is acceptable but bhakti in politics is very dangerous it is a road to degradation of democracy it may bring dictatorship in our nation on the 26th of january 1950 we are going to enter into a life of contradictions in politics we will have equality and in social and economic life we will have inequality dr ambedkar tells us that we are going to accept the constitution on the 26th january 1950 after that there will be equality in our political life but there will not be equality in our social and economic life that will be the situation of contradictions in politics we will be recognizing the principle of one man one vote and one vote one value in our social and economic life we shall by reason of our social and economic structure continue to deny the principle of one man one value in politics there will be the principle of one man one vote and one vote one value but in our social and economic life there is not the principle of one man one value our social structure does not allow us the principle of equality in our social life how long shall we continue to live this life of contradictions how long shall we continue to deny equality in our social and economic life if we continue to deny it for long we will do so only by putting our political democracy in peril here the writer asks two questions to the readers about our contradictions if there is no equality in our social and economic life there is a danger to our political democracy we must remove this contradiction at the earliest possible else those who suffer from inequality will blow up the structure of political democracy which this assembly has so laboriously built up the writer advises all the readers to remove this contradiction as early as possible there should be equality in our social and economic life too the second thing we are wanting in is recognition of the principle of fraternity what does fraternity mean fraternity means a sense of common brotherhood of all indians if indians being one people it is the principle which gives unity and solidarity to social life in this paragraph the writer speaks about fraternity fraternity means the feeling of common brotherhood among people the feeling of brotherhood brings unity and solidarity in our social life it is a difficult thing to achieve how difficult it is can be realized from the story related by james bryce in his volume on american commonwealth about the united states of america according to the writer the principle of fraternity is difficult to achieve to prove his view point the writer gives reference of a story by james bryce the story is i propose to recount it in the words of bryce himself that now see the story some years ago the american protestant episcopal church was occupied at its triennial convention in 
revising its liturgy. Here the writer gives a story in the words of Bryas. Some years ago, the American Protestant Episcopal Church was celebrating its 300th anniversary and revising their public prayer. Look here, triennial means the 300th anniversary and liturgy means rites prescribed for public worship. It was thought desirable to introduce among the short sentence prayer, a prayer for the whole people and an eminent New England divine proposed the words, O Lord, bless our nation. They wanted to introduce a short prayer for the whole nation. A priest from New England suggested the words, O Lord, bless our nation. Accepted one afternoon on the spur of the moment, the sentence was brought up next day for reconsideration. When so many objections were raised by the laity to the word nation, as importing too definite a recognition of national unity that it was dropped and instead there were adopted the words, O Lord, bless these United States. At that moment, all the members accepted the sentence. On the spur of the moment means suddenly or quickly. The next day, some members had objections to the word nation and they adopted the words, O oh Lord, bless these United States. Now, instead of nation, they used the word United States. There was so little solidarity in the USA at the time when this incident occurred that the people of America did not think that they were a nation. At that time, the people in the USA did not think that they were a nation. Now, what about Indian people? If the people of the United States could not feel that they were a, na they were a nation, how difficult it is for Indians to think that they are a nation. According to the writer, it is very difficult for the Indians to think that they are a nation because of inequality in our social and economic life. I remember the days when politically minded Indians resented the expression the people of India. They preferred the expression the Indian nation. I am of opinion that in believing that we are a nation, we are cherishing a great delusion. How can people divided into several thousands of castes be a nation? There is no equality in our social life. There is no equality in our economic life. The writer asks, a question to all the readers. How can people divided into several thousands of castes be a nation? Our caste system is the root cause of inequality in our social life. This is the reality. The sooner we realize that we are not as yet a nation in the social and psychological sense of the word, the better for us. For then only we shall realize the necessity of becoming a nation and seriously think of ways and means of realizing the goal. The realization of this goal is going to be very difficult, far more difficult than it has been in the United States. The United States has no caste problem. In India, there are castes. According to the writer, we are not yet 
as a nation in social and psychological sense we have to do efforts to realize the goal of becoming a nation the goal of becoming a nation in true sense is not easy our goal is more difficult than the goal of the usa because the usa has not caste problem and we have thousands of castes and thousands of caste problems the castes are anti national in the first place because they bring about separation in social social life they are anti national also because they generate jealousy and antipathy between caste and creed castes are anti national they create separation in social life they generate jealousy and antipathy between castes and creeds no doubt our caste system is sorry our caste system is an obstacle in our national integration it is a threat to national integration but we must overcome all these difficulties if we wish to become a nation in reality for fraternity can be a fact only when there is a nation without fraternity equality and liberty will be no deeper than coats of paint now at last the writer tells us we must overcome all these difficulties and obstacles to become a nation in reality the writer gives importance to fraternity that is importance to brotherhood without fraternity equality and liberty will be of no use summary of the lesson pillars of democracy is a well known essay written by dr b r ambedkar we have democratic state up it's our responsibility to nurture and protect our democratic values the th- the thoughts of dr ambedkar are relevant in the 21st century also the writer gives importance to liberty equality and fraternity according to the to the writer these principles will make india a strong and powerful nation he also warns us that hero worship or bhakti in politics is a threat to democracy it is a sure road to degradation of democracy it may bring dictatorship in our nation so we should be alert according to the writer we must follow constitutional methods to achieve equality in social and economic life unconstitutional methods were justified in the past but now these methods are the grammar of anarchy so we have to abandon them as early as possible he gives importance to liberty in democracy we should be grateful to great men but we should never give up our liberties at the feet of great men hero worship or bhakti in politics is very dangerous to india it may bring dictatorship in the country in politics we are equal but in social and economic life we are not equal we have to achieve equality in social and economic life by constitutional methods according to the writer the principle of fraternity gives unity and solidarity to social life it is not an easy to achieve to prove his view point he gives reference of a story by james bryce to achieve the principle of fraternity in india is very difficult because of our caste system our castes are anti national they bring separation in social life if we wish to become a nation in reality we must overcome all these difficulties according to the writer without fraternity 
equality and liberty will be of no use. Dear students, once again read the lesson carefully and do the brainstorming activities. Prepare your own notes. For more videos, subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.